Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing like a length check situation and I'm also going to be trimming my hair. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Kill the intro! Alright guys, thank you for coming back. So like I said, I'm going to be I'm going to be blow drying my hair and trimming it. I've had my hair dyed like this for a couple of days. Um, but just now I washed, conditioned, deep conditioned, all that good stuff. So I'm going to apply my leave-in and section my hair for the blow dry, and I'll be right back. All right, so I took all the, the smaller twists out and I just did four sections and I have this one section out in the back. The leave-in is already applied there. So I'm just going to take my fine tooth comb. I'm going to section out the piece that I'm going to use for the first part of the blow dry. So this is my section for the first piece. I don't know. I don't think that's too thick. I don't think so. If it is, I will just split it again like that. But I don't think so. I think we'll see. We'll see what the blow dryer can handle. So I'm going to use the same heat protectant, the Pantene heat primer. I'm just going to spray that on this section. And just make sure that is completely on every strand. All right. And now I'm going to start the blow dry. So this section is completely detangled already with the tangle teaser. Love this brush. So we are ready. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna be using the same blow dryer I did the last time I trimmed my hair and I'm going to turn it on low and we're gonna get started from there. So just like I did in my last video, I kept it on low. Um, I feel like you never have to go any higher than low on this brush unless your hair is um, really resistant to heat um, because low really does my hair amazing. I think if I did it on high, if I did my whole head on high, my hair would end up looking more straight than blown out. So low is definitely the temperature for me. And um, you guys see me going over this section over and over again because it kind of still was feeling wet. So I just kept going over it until I was like satisfied. Also, whenever you use high heat, you put yourself in more risk for heat damage. So just use low heat. All right. Just so this is what it's looking like right now. Whoa, I'm going to take this hair, I'm going to clip it. Instead, last time I did my hair, I twisted it and I felt like I was like breaking my hair because like it's kind of hard to like keep the keep going to the top of the section. So I was like pulling hair out of the other uh, twist and I just don't want to cause any extra breakage. So I'm just gonna use clips. All right, we're gonna move on to the next section. All right guys, so the process I was going through was just applying the leave-in to the entire section, which I already did off camera. I used the TGIN Green Tea Moisturizing Leave-In, and then I applied the heat protectant, and then I detangled my hair um, to make sure that the heat protectant was ev evenly distributed throughout my hair, and then I went in with the blow dryer just because the blow dryer is a paddle brush and I just don't like paddle brushes just in general so I just want to make sure my hair is detangled before I put it in the paddle brush so that's the process and you guys will just see me chucking along throughout my whole head even though I used the clip method um, I ended up taking the clip out most often around my head because 
it just kept like I kept pulling hair from that bottom section and I didn't want to keep applying heat to the hair over and over again um, that's why I wanted to use the clip but it just wasn't working out so I just ended up most of the time taking the clip out and doing it just doing it with the rest of the hair after I got like the main idea of the section that I was working on So that's this whole section done, all blow dried out. That's what it looks like. So this is what we got. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll be back when I am done, hopefully. I am now on episode I believe I'm on episode 20 of 101. If you want to watch, if you want to watch 101 with me, because that's what I'm watching right now. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is the blowout. This is the blowout situation. This is how my hair turned out. Um, yeah. Uh, give you guys a little 360 situation. Do y'all see that length? Killing it out of frame. Okay, just okay. Yeah, that's how it looks. So I'm going to split it into four sections. So I'm just going to do the back off camera and then I'm going to do the front with you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So the back is all done. These are the two twists that I got in the back. And now I'm going to start on the front. I already did a video showing you guys the process that I go through. Um, when I trim my hair, but some people on Instagram were saying they wanted to see it again, so I said, why not? Taking my section, combing it out, starting at the ends. In the back, I cut a little higher than I'm going to in the front because I really don't like how low the back of my hair is usually hanging so while I was trimming I was keeping that in mind and when I take my hair all out I will look at it again and see what's going on there um, and I did trim um, the size that I'm about to trim right now like this area um, when it was braided so it's even short, it's a little bit shorter than it was before, but it is about down here. Yeah. I don't have that same shirt. I've washed it since then. It's a little bit hard to see, maybe. I don't know. You guys can see, but that's about how much I'm cutting. Maybe a inch or two inches of hair. And now it's gone. Blunt. So that's how that's going. So now I'm just going to move on to the next section. So my last trimming video was a little bit more detailed. So I'll leave that in the cards and in the description box. But basically what I'm doing is detangling with the tangle teaser and then going in for a more thorough job with a fine tooth comb. And then where I feel those fairy knots and those... Um, split ends and all that I am cutting that at the ends so that's basically what I'm doing I want to keep more of the length in the front so I cut the back and the bottom of uh, the bottom of the side a little bit shorter than the rest of it 
because I kind of want a little bit of shape, just a little shape um, to like my twist outs and braid outs. So that is what I'm going for. That's the look I'm going for. When I finish the trim, I'm going to take all my hair out and I'm going to see if if I need to do any extra dusting around. Look at that. I love that. Look at that. That looks so good. My hair looks so healthy. Look at that. I'm so happy. I've been procrastinating the past couple of days to even trim it because it takes a lot of time to do this. I have gotten through. I'm all the way on episode 17 of Half and Half. This is crazy. And I'm still not all the way done. I was trying to go back and forth like, should I dye my hair first or should I bleach? I mean, should I bleach the hair first or should I uh, trim it first? And the logic I came across was if you trim it first, I mean, if you, if you bleach it first, then when you trim, you can trim off, uh, you know, also what's damaged instead of having to trim your hair twice. And I didn't really see any damage in my hair from the bleach, but that doesn't mean that there isn't any. I just haven't discovered it yet. I haven't actually styled my curled hair yet. When I do style my bleached hair, you guys will be the first to know. In all the sections, when I finished, I will go back and just make sure that there's like nothing that I'm missing. Look at my hair. It's crazy. It looks kind of even. I don't know. If it's not, I don't care. Are y'all seeing the paintbrush ends? Oh my God. Um, but anyway, I am just... Continuing the same process throughout the rest of this section. I don't want to bore you guys too much with showing you everything. So after this section, I'm just going to skip to fully done. But yeah, I'm just finishing this section, same process, and killing it. Killing it on the trim tip. <music> All right, guys, so this is the final look. This is the trim situation. It looks good to me. Um, it feels good. It's easy to go through. I just can't get over how it looks. It looks huge. Like right now, it's like killing it. I don't know why it's killing it, but it's killing it. Okay, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I just, I just feel, I feel important. I feel good. I just feel good. My hair, I feel like my hair looks really good. Um, if y'all don't like it, you know, just keep it to yourself, but just hype me up in the comments because I'm really killing it. Do y'all see how my hair looks right now? So that's, that's the end. This is the end result. This is how my hair turned out. It looks good to me. Um, I'm going to just braid it up. If you want to know how much hair I lost throughout this entire process, the blow dry, the detangling and the trim. This is it. This is this is the hair. It's like this was the detangle and blow dry situation, and this was the trimmed hair. So all together, um, you know, like a little baby's head, like a little baby doll. If, if it had if it had natural hair, um, just about that much hair. So yeah, it looks like a lot. Like it looks like a lot. Like. 
Is that the thumbnail? I know I said I was gonna color it in this video, but I didn't get a chance to, so. I am definitely gonna do it in the next video. That video might be up on Tuesday. This video might be up on Tuesday. Who knows? Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Bye.